Hello, my name is Irina, and in this video, I'm going to explain you how to create customizable reports in Pitbull text transcripts. If you have a particular format in mind, you now can easily adjust our default reports package to your preference. You can even create completely new reports based on the data from transcripts. And this is how it's done. In the blue menu bar, click on settings and select customizable reports. Here you will see a list of all reports that I included in individual client package. And if you click on the business tab, you'll see a list of reports for a business client. All reports are listed in the same order that they appear in your package. If you want to change position of any report and uh, list them in a different order, all you need to do is just drag and drop the report to the required position. Just drag and drop and after that click Save. Please note that every time you change the settings for a customizable reports, this settings will not be applied to all prior generated reports and they will be applied only to new reports that Pitbull Tax Transcripts will create for you. So after you change the settings in the customizable reports, these changes will be made available only all on all new reports. What if you don't uh, want to see some of the reports in your report package? These default reports will show disabled delete button. You cannot delete them. But what you can do, you can hide them and they will not be shown in your uh, package. For example, if I want to hide Estimated Civil Penalty CSAT Report, I would click on this green eye icon located to the left of the report name. And it will turn into the crossed out red eye icon. So this, this means that, that this report will be hidden on next pool of transcripts. And after that, I just click Save. So you can hide as many reports as you want to and uh, they will not be included in your own customizable reports package. You can also change fields in uh, a report and change position how they are displayed. For example, to customize income tax liability report, click on the pencil icon and on the right hand side you will see all fields that are included in this report and they are displayed in the order of appearance from left to right and here from top to bottom so the period is the most left column and the current tax due is the most right column in this report for example i want to see current tax due on a second position just right after the period. So I just drag and drop the current text due and now it's on a second position. I also do not want to see refunds field, withholdings payments credits and accrued interest. So I would just click red cross icon to delete them from my report. And after that, just click Save. But if you made a delete by mistake and you want to move the field back to your customized report, you can just drag and drop to the position you need. Or you can just click on this green arrow icon and it will be added back to your report. This is why we created this left column so all deleted fields from your 
report can still be added back. And after that, just click Save. So next time you pull IRS transcripts for your clients, this report will be customized and you will see it in a different sort order. But now I want to create a completely new report that is uh, consisting of fields from various reports. To do that, I click on Create New Report button. Here, on the left-hand side, I will see all our default reports with corresponding fields in each of them. And all of them are listed right here. You'll see that some fields are highlighted in light yellow. That means that these fields can be used only in one report and they cannot be combined with fields from any other reports. And uh, some fields are highlighted in light pink color. This means that these fields can be moved only as a group. They cannot be filled individually. So now let's create a new report. First we need to have a report title. Click on the pencil icon to the next report title field and create your title. Let's say tax liability, compliance, bankruptcy. Let's say I want to see everything in one report. And just click save. And now what we can do, we can drag and drop fields from the left-hand side to the right, or we can just click at the green arrow icon and the field will be added. So period is now added to our report. Let's say I also want current text due. I also want where the return was filed filing date, filing status, collection status, lien filed, audit indicators, installment agreement indicators, offering compromise, and bankruptcy and other legal actions. So now I have 11 fields in my new report and you can add up to 13 fields in each new report. You cannot exceed 13 and the note underneath says about that. Let's say from the bankruptcy dischargeability report I want to move these five fields from 7 to 11 but I don't see a green arrow icon next to them and I also cannot drag and drop them because I already have 11 columns in my new report and these are additional five. So if I will remove some of the fields from my new report, I can just easily add this entire group because remember light pink means that I can move these fields only as a group. And then I want to add another dischargeable amount field. So now I have 13 fields in the report. And you do not have to have a maximum amount of fields. Your report can have even two fields if you want to. So it will have two columns. But the maximum is 13. So after that, I just need to click Save. And uh, my new report is created. All your new reports will always go to the first position. But if you want to, uh, to show them on a, any different position, just drag and drop them and they will be displayed in the position that you need. And note that for the reports that you created for your own uh, license, now the delete button is enabled. So you can easily delete report that you created. Let's say if you want to create a new one or you can just uh, go back and edit and uh, remove some fields and uh, when once you remove certain fields they're moved back to the uh, left hand side so you can easily pull them back if necessary so audit can be moved back 
So this is how customizable reports work. And uh, I hope you will use this new feature and it will be useful for your tax practice. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you in the next video.